but they also measured it in the gray matter, the white matter, and I believe the thalamus, and it all improved by about 10%. Now, it was a small sample size because the run on MRS is super expensive. So statistically, it wasn't there, but the percent improvements were, were a lot higher. And when you look at all the other data, 10 grams seems to be a very viable dose to not only check off the box, definitely for muscle. We're now checking off the box for brain and now we're, or sorry, bone. And then we're also checking off the, the box for uh, brain as well. So I personally take about 10 grams a day on average. But during times of metabolic stress, sleep deprivation, or uh, um, jet lag, I'll increase it to 20. So today, I will take 20 grams because I flew down from Canada. I'll take 20 grams again tomorrow. But when I get back home, I'll decrease it back down to 10. If any is being excreted down the toilet, I'm totally fine with that. Creatine is very cost effective, but I want to make sure I'm maximizing all my abilities and the immune system especially in Canadian winters, is really heightened and uh, activated. And I really have found in the last few years, I'm, I'm not getting flu-like symptoms. Uh, hopefully that's from exercise or diet, but uh, who knows, maybe creatine is helping because there is some anti-inflammatory effects. 